Suppose we dissolve calcium carbonate in a beaker containing distilled water at room temperature. In the naked eye one cannot perceive that any salt has dissolved at all or not. This is because calcium carbonate is a sparingly soluble salt having solubility equal to as low as 7.7 .7 into 10 to the power minus 4 grams per 100 gram of water. After stirring for a while, we get a saturated solution of calcium carbonate which contains calcium and carbonate ions in the aqueous phase. There exists equilibrium between these ions and the solid calcium carbonate which is in contact with these ions. This equilibrium is dynamic in nature and there is interchange of particles between the solid and liquid phase although the concentration of the ions remain the same in the liquid phase. According to the laws of mass action, the equilibrium constant is equal to this value. But concentration of a solid is taken as constant. This is because the concentration of a solid does not change in case of heterogeneous equilibrium. Then the product of the ionic concentrations of the anion and cation is constant and is called Ksp or what is called the solubility product. A calculation of solubility product of a more complex salt will clear up the matter. Take for example magnesium phosphate whose molar solubility S is equal to 3.92 into 10 to the power minus 6 moles per decimeter cube at 25 degrees Celsius. Just as in the case of equilibrium constant expression where the concentrations are raised to the power of their stoichiometric coefficients, the same thing happens over here. Therefore, Ksp equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 25 and this is the unit of solubility product in this case. Thus, it can be said that the unit of solubility product is not the same for all the salts and depend on the stoichiometric coefficients of the ions when one mole of salt dissociates. Application of solubility product principle in inorganic qualitative analysis of cations. Before going into all this, we will have to get some conception on common ion effect. Suppose a salt ionizes as follows when it is saturated. Now a salt in it CO3 having a common ion carbonate ion is added to it which ionizes like this. Increase in concentration of carbonate ion forces the equilibrium to shift towards the left and more calcium carbonate is precipitated out of the solution. The same thing happens when a salt having a common cation like calcium chloride is added. This is called the common ion effect. In inorganic qualitative analysis, the cations are divided into six groups. Do not confuse these groups with the groups of the periodic table. These groups have been made on the basis of the solubility product of the cation with the anion of the reagent analyzing that particular group. The reagent used in group 1 is 1 to 2 molar HCl. By adding HCl we actually increase the Cl- concentration of the salt solution. This enables to exceed the solubility product of group 1 cations and they get precipitated. In group 2 the reagent is H2S which ionizes as follows. But the filtrate obtained from group 1 analysis is acidic in nature because group 1 reagent was HCl. Now acidic pH means more H plus ion concentration which shifts this equilibrium to the left due to common ion effect. Thus sulphide ion concentration decreases miserably. It however is enough to exceed the solubility product of the group 2 cation sulphides which gets precipitated. The sulphides of the other group cations have a higher solubility product and do not precipitate out. Then comes group 3 cations where the reagent is a mixture of ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. The presence of ammonium chloride helps in shifting the equilibrium of ammonium hydroxide towards the left and there is very less hydroxide ion available. But the reduced hydroxide ion concentration is enough to precipitate the group 3 cations as hydroxides because their solubility product is low. Cations from other groups have hydroxides with greater solubility product so they do not precipitate. In group 4 the reagent is again H2S gas and this time the pH is higher than before 
so more sulfide ions are there which is enough to precipitate the group 4 sulfides. In group 5 the reagent is ammonium carbonate. Due to common ion ammonium there is very less carbonate ions available at this stage. This less carbonate ions is enough to precipitate out the group 5 metal carbonates but cannot precipitate the group 6 carbonate which has a higher value. The filtrate obtained from group 5 precipitation can now be directly tested for group 6 cations because no further separation by precipitation is required.